it's a Maris, and in this video, I'm going to show you guys what I have in my shower. So I saw it's Judy time to do a video like this, and I found it really interesting, and I really enjoyed watching it, so I decided to do it too and show you guys what I have in my shower, just so you guys can get an idea of the things that I use mainly in my hair. That's the main reason I'm doing this video. So in no particular order, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I have is this product right here, and this is the Dr. Bronner's 18-in-1 Hemp Peppermint Pure Castro Soap. So I use this product as a clarifying shampoo. I know a lot of people like to use apple cider vinegar, but I cannot stand the way that smells, and for some reason, I just can't get like that funky scent out of my hair when I use it. I know it's a natural product and it cleans your scalp and all the builds up really well, but I cannot do that. So if you are like me who just cannot do apple cider vinegar in your hair, I would highly recommend this product. I use it as a clarifying shampoo. I only apply it on my roots or on my scalp and then I just, you know, work it in there and it leaves your hair and your scalp feeling squeaky clean. I have a whole bunch of different scents and different kinds. This is the peppermint one and it leaves your scalp feeling really tingly and it also helps with hair growth. So that's why I use this one as my shampoo or my clarifying shampoo. But they have a rose one, the lavender one I absolutely love is another one of my favorites and I use that one as a body wash. But yeah, you could also use this for a whole bunch of different other things and it is made with 100% organic ingredients. Um, I bought this one on sale for $9 at Whole Foods, but you could also find it, um, I see these at Ross and Marshall all the time for like nine, 10 bucks. Regular price is like $19. This product is awesome. Another shampoo that I have in my shower because I like using different things, it's this the Yucca and Plantain Anti-Breakage Shampoo by Shea Moisture. And I've shown this in my channel previously and this is a shampoo that I do like to use once in a while. It is not as strong as the Dr. Bronner's, you know, like if you really want to clarify your hair, if you really want to get rid of all that buildup and all that nastiness, if your scalp is itchy, this thing is awesome, but if you just want to shampoo your hair, if you're just someone who can't go without shampooing in a few days, this stuff, it's really good. But moving on to conditioners, I have two conditioners and a deep treatment mask. The first conditioner is the classic, the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Curl and Shine Conditioner. You can never go wrong with this conditioner. When I first started to transition, this is the line that I started using. Um, all of the coconut and hibiscus line, the conditioner, the deep treatment, the um, curling smoothie, that is the only thing that I used until I started getting my bounce back in my hair. So this is like, oh, it smells really good. This is a definite staple in my household and he lives in my shower all the time. The next one I received in, it has a hair on it. Um, this one I received in my last month's curl kit. If you guys haven't watched that, I will link it around here and down below so you can check it out if you want to. But this is the Eden Conditioning Treatment Plant-Based Conditioner. And I really, really, really like this product. It leaves my hair feeling so soft and so smooth. It provides a lot of slip, so it makes it really easy for you to detangle your hair in the shower. And it smells amazing. But I like him. I like him a lot. The next product I am almost out of, it is the Shea Moisture Deep Treatment Mask with kelp and argan oil. And this one is for dry and damaged hair. I use all of the Shea Moisture products, masks. I use the mask conditioners as well. Oh my God, it smells so good. It smells really good. I'm almost out of it. This mask doesn't have a really thick consistency. It is really watery. Not watery, it is just, I mean, yeah, it's, it's, it's more of a runny consistency. It's not like a really thick mask, but I really do like it and I really love the way it smells. And I purchased it multiple times. It's a good product. The next thing I have is an exfoliator. It's a body scrub. And the one that I really like to use all the time is also from Shea Moisture. It comes in a purple tub. Um, oh my God, I forgot. I forgot the line. I forgot the name of the line, but I will link it down below. And that's the one that I use the majority of the time. But I needed a scrub and they didn't have the one that I use at Walmart. So I picked this one up and I picked this one up at Walmart. It was like four or five dollars. And this one is from Bodycology and it is the Toasted Sugar Exfoliating Sugar Scrub. And I really like this one as well. It smells really good. 
it does the job and it is half the price because the Shea Moisture one is 10 bucks and this one is five dollars mm, it smells really yummy and I love exfoliating my legs before I shave if you want a really nice soft shave nice smooth legs exfoliate then shave I love this stuff and the next product is this product this is a cleansing oil I do keep this in my shower but I use it outside of my shower as well you're supposed to apply it to your face without wetting your face so just take let me show you what it looks like first this is what it looks like and it's a cleansing oil like I said it is for normal to dry skin and you just pump a few pumps of this in your hand I use about two pumps I rub it together and then you rub it all over your face and it removes all of your makeup and it has natural ingredients it has coconut and argan oil and I really like it I also use the Dr. Bronner too as a face wash amazing that's all I have to say and the next product is a body wash it is the authentic Africa black soap body wash from Alafaya I'm not sure if I'm saying I don't know if it's Alafaya or Alafaya um, this brand was brought to my attention when I was watching Hey Friend Hey. I saw one of the videos that she did where they, where this brand flew her out to Africa so she can see how all of the products are being handmade in Africa. It was an awesome video. I will link it down below so you guys can check it out. And after watching that video, I really wanted to support this brand. So when I was at Whole Foods, I noticed that they have this brand at Whole Foods. They have so many different other things. They have shampoos, conditioners, hair products. They have a whole bunch of different things. But I decided to pick up the body wash. And this is what I use. And I really, really like it. So you can use it as a body wash or as a shampoo. But I just use it to clean my body. But this stuff is amazing. And you're supporting a good brand as well. So it's kind of like a win-win situation with this one. And what else? The last thing is just my razor. This guy lives in the shower. And I like to kind of keep it in there with a the little cap. Just so that the blades won't get all... What's the word? You know when the blade isn't good anymore but this is the razor that I always use it is the Gillette razor with three blades I have super 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 sensitive skin I tried many different razors and this one and the Venus are the only ones that I could shave and I won't get like a ton of ingrown hairs any other razors that I've tried I get ingrown hairs especially in the back of my legs and it sucks so this razor is a favorite um, the Venus one I love as well, but it's super expensive for a damn razor. I mean, wh why? Why is it? Venus, why are your razors so damn expensive? But this one does the same thing. It has three blades and it is half the price and it comes in like a pack of six. So this is the one I always pick up and I really like it. <laughs> That's it. That is it for this video. But I hope you guys found it entertaining. I hope you enjoyed it. And... And that is it. Let me know the products that you guys have in your shower. What are your favorite conditioners, staple products, favorite shampoos? Let me know because I want to try new products out. I'm always on the hunt for new products. So let me know what you guys keep in your shower. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. And...